Example 5.1. New digital scanning graphics equipment is expected to cost $20,000 to be used for three years and to have an annual operating cost of $8,000. Determine the annual worth values for one and two life cycles at an interest of 22% per year. Okay, so what example 5.1 is trying to prove is what is mentioned on section 5.1 which states that whenever you are analyzing your alternatives in terms of the annual worth, you are to compare them over only one life cycle. There is no need for LCM. So even though you have two, three, four alternatives, all with different lives, then you should only evaluate them over the respective lives, no LCM. There will be study period but the LCM will not be needed. Okay, so if the problem specifically says uh, that sh you should evaluate them over a three year study period, then yes, you are going to follow the procedure from chapter four and you're gonna be using an N of three for all of them. But if it doesn't say anything about the study period, then there is no need to do the LCM. You just compare the alternatives over their uh, respective lives. Okay, but let's prove this as to why there's no need for LCM. Uh, so here in the problem we have uh, the scanning graphics equipment with a cost of $20,000. So this right here is going to be our P. To be used for three years. and to have an annual operating cost of $8,000. We must find the annual worth, or the total A in this case, and we have an interest rate of 22% per then it says right here that we must determine the annual worth for one and two life cycles. So let's do part A. Let's call this annual worth for one life cycle. Okay, so if we only have one life cycle our diagram, it's going to have three years. I'm going to draw it here on the side. So it's going to be year zero, one, two, and three. Then we have our P going down. Twenty thousand. We have the annual operating cost going down every year. Of eight thousand. So these are negatives. And then don't forget to include the interest twenty two percent per year. Okay. So that means that we need to distribute our P equally among three years. So if we want to find the annual worth, uh, let's go first with the annual operating cost. So this one, it's already in A. It occurs annually. So it's just a matter of plugging it in here as is into your formula. Uh, remember, it's going to be negative, even though I didn't put the negatives here or here. You know that whenever it's a cost, it has to go down. I mean, and, and it's going to be negative. And then the P we need to convert it to A, so it's going to be minus 20,000, find A, given P, at 22%, and it's going to be over three years. Okay, so if you go to the tables, look for the factor, plug it in, solve, you will get minus 17,700 and $93 and remember that we're looking for annual worth 
so it has to be per year. Okay, so we have answer number one here. 